Hello everyone, Citizen here, and we're playing some Dawn of War Dark Crusade. Through the campaign, to be specific about it. And if you're wondering, oh my god, he's not screeching like a pterodactyl, then you're correct. A new microphone, and it's awesome. So yeah, Dawn of War Dark Crusade, and um, yeah. I'm not playing as the Tau, well. Uh, since it's the first, well it's not the first time we've played it, but um... We'll just basically listen through it and play it. Um, nee, nee, nee. Um, no, right. You can listen to the cutscene now. Enjoy. Normal. The planet Cronus, beset on all sides by the tides of war. This once quiet colony became a savage battlefield. Seven armies clashed on this one world, each refusing to back down, each convinced it was in the right. From beneath the sands of Cronus' central desert came the Necrons, ancient machines bent on eradicating all life. But another evil already had its eyes on the planet. From the depths of the war, the demonic forces of chaos arrived to enforce their claim. To oppose these fearsome powers, the planet's rulers in the Tau Empire sent their elite soldiers and sophisticated battle suits into the fray. From the mighty Imperium of Man came the Imperial Guard, there to secure Cronus for the glory of the God Emperor. Like a green tide, the Orc Horde descended on Cronus caring little for others' claims, and sowing destruction in its wake. The Eldar, ancient enemies of the Necrons, emerged from their webway to pursue their own agenda on Cronus. And last came the Space Marines, finest and most uncompromising of the Imperium soldiers. Faggots! Seeing a world beset by aliens and heretics, they undertook a great purge. A dark crusade had begun. It could only end with the total victory of one of these factions. Me. And the total defeat of all others. Alright, except for them two words. Except for them two words, uh, <laughs> I won't talk through cutscenes. Uh, yeah. I'm not playing the Space Marines, which is them. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, seven. Hmm. Right, well, I don't want to play Chaos because they're basically just rebel space marines, goddammit. So it's either going to be, well... Necrons... Tau. Necrons! We'll play Necrons because Necrons are awesome. And you know, if anyone's like Chaos for the win or Space Marines for the win, I will suck out all of your souls and feed them to the Star God. <laughs> and if you're wondering which one I believe in, well, if you find out which one I believe in, you know, you're, you're quite lucky because there's only four left, so it's sort of like a game of roulette. You've got about 25% chance of guessing which one. So, yeah, let's start. The Necrons had lain buried in the sands of Cronus for eons, having retreated there at the end of a great war only hinted at in the histories of ancient races like the Eldar. Long before man even stood upright, the Necrons and the Dark Gods had retreated to their tomb worlds. But their slumber was not eternal. Eventually their genocidal deities awoke them again driving them to purge the life that had spread across the galaxy during their sleep. On Cronus, this awakening came when an archaeological team opened a mysterious crypt on the arid Thor Abyss Plateau. Most of the team died, but expedition leader Thomas Maccabee 
somehow became one of the mysterious Necron pariahs. Seemingly retaining a hint of his personality, he occasionally spoke for the Silent Army as it advanced. The Necron Lord of Cronus, the most ancient and powerful of the deathless creatures on the planet, promptly launched a campaign of extermination. His loathsome god, the Nightbringer, hungered for the deaths of all those on Cronus. He wants their tasty brains. Nom nom. Probably not, actually, but hey. You never know. And if you're wondering, it's no, I, I don't consider the Nightbringer as my sort of god. But in this campaign, it's your god and you've sort of got to, you know, kill and kill everyone. Basically. Welcome to the single player campaign for Dawn of War. Shut up! I don't care! Uh, well. Hmm. Let's fight Chaos first. Because, you know, it's the lowest one and we might as well start with an easy mission. We'll get a Crypt Warrior Squad. Nice, and they are... Honor Guard Unit, Necron Warriors, entombed with the Necron Lord of Cronus. Nice, he's Honor Guard. Let's attack. Got nothing, nothing. Strength 1, we're basically... Yeah, well, who knows. We'll probably just fail and die horribly, but hey. We are attacking and we are going to kill them and suck out their blood. No, we're not vampires, actually. We'll probably just disintegrate the entire lot of them. You know. They don't deserve to live. We are too awesome for them to live. <laughs> this is a loading screen. This is still a loading screen. You are now watching the loading screen. On FAC Gaming. If you like this, please leave a like. And please rate it, thumbs up. If you think this loading screen was too long, thumb it up. If you think this loading screen was too short, thumb it up. <laughs> uh. Oh, it moved. The loading Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's start it. Right, now basically what the idea is, we're going to capture these, they give us no bonus really, um, they just allow us to capture things a bit faster, um, we, the Necrons don't actually use uh, normal resources that everyone else uses, we use um, electricity because we're robots. So we need to build lots of these. This is the Necrod Lord of Necrod Lord of Cronus. He's a he's pretty much a badass. 3.6k health, nearly 100 damage. There we capture that. Uh, there we go. And the plan is we just keep building loads and loads of these. And it's getting very loud on my end, so let me just turn this down, because it's extremely loud, and it's... Um... There we go. Might have helped, it might not have helped, but hey, who knows. These are my basic troops, Necron Warriors. They're actually heavy infantry. My normal standard bog standard troops are heavy infantry. And we need more generators to actually get some more Necron Warriors. So what we're gonna do is... We're gonna cut off one of the production of these guys and build another generator. 